there's significant progress being made on the Kingston Dock. You'll see much of it in this update. Early in the month, preparations were clearly being made for a big concrete pour on the South Finger Dock. On the North Finger Dock, all the underpinnings had gone. Roof panels had been placed on the second floor of the future passenger terminal. Behind the existing passenger terminal, the excavation had assumed a very regular shape. By mid-month, the roof trusses on the utility building had been joined by a metal subroof, and placement of the massive concrete slabs on the North Finger Dock had commenced. Each of the slabs weighs about 25,000 pounds or 12 tons, so considerable care is taken. Over the last few feet, it can sometimes be necessary to spin the block to fit correctly. No confusion can be allowed to arise, so one person signals the operator, whose attention is laser focused. This is not something you want to do twice, so precise positioning is absolutely critical. The Wolf Islanders work is uninterrupted by all the excitement and on the utility building the subroof is proceeding quickly. In the neighbouring compound rebar is being laid between the equipment pedestals and conduit runs from the building continue to be readied for concrete. There's activity at the excavation site, but the purpose is unclear. A second day's work by the crane sees the last concrete slab positioned. But not until a well-earned break has been taken. Every lift begins with a careful discussion of how it will occur. A last check of rigging and then a very cautious lift begin the process. Of course any pilot will tell you every flight is only judged on the landing. It's the last few feet that make all the difference. Adjustments at this stage are not at all unusual. Once again, there's just one person directing the crane. And it's the same person who makes the final call on placement. Minor adjustments may be required. Final adjustments are measured in millimetres. There's some great work done here by real professionals. It must certainly be a moment of great relief 
when each slab is firmly in place. Whilst all the work was taking place, iron workers were steadily building the rebar for the walls. Over at the future passenger terminal, rebar is being laid on the roof decking. Across the dock, conduit connecting the lamp posts can be clearly seen. The versatile telehandler Zoom Boom is in almost constant motion, attending to one task or another. Some mystery remains about the presence of this pile drilling auger. It would be interesting to know just what was going on with this survey expedition onto Ontario Street. But we'll end this update today watching a speedboat travelling up the Cataraqui River and the Rideau Canal as it passes the Memorial Arch at Canada's Royal Military College. Thanks for watching.